الرحمن الرحيم اللهم كن وليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك توغا وتمتعه فيها طويلا Dua for this day of the sacred month of Ramadan. It says, Allahumma ja'al sa'yi fihi mashkura wa dhambi fihi maghfura wa amali fihi maqbula wa aibi fihi mastura ya asma'a sami'in means Allah in this month make my efforts being thanked and my sins forgiven, my deeds accepted and my flaws hidden. O oh, the best of those who hear. And now in this day, <coughs> we ask Allah that whatever we do, it should be thanked and accepted. Now we've been talking on this quite a lot, that the actions that we do, we have to make them get accepted by Allah. The wa ta'ala. Hadith says, Kunu ala qabool al-amal ashahatan. That is, you have to work and get your actions accepted. So if an action is accepted by the Almighty, only then will we be rewarded. If that action is not accepted, then reward also will not be there. So getting these actions accepted, it's uh, a tough task. Now when we have these fasts that are being observed for all these hours of the day, and then towards the end also we have a little rest, no sleep at, at times, uh, and after all this month of worship and servitude, and if we don't get anything as a reward, that is bad, that is a pain, that is we have done something in vain. So we have to work on getting these actions accepted. Sometimes there are actions that we do that drain whatever we do. Like for example, there are hasanat that are being done by me, actions that are good, that are being observed and done, and all of them have a reward. But when we look into the trunk or that uh, that reservoir or wherever these actions are being saved, we see that there is nothing in it. The reason for that is there is a leak. Whatever is being collected, all of that is being drained and being leaked out. Now how do they leak? How do actions leak and don't remain? As a result of the sins that we do. Maybe we backbite, we backchat someone. Now that backchat, it was a uh, one backbiting, one riba. As a result of that, whatever I have done will be transferred to the person who I have backbitten. And all the bad that he has done will be transferred to my account. So the good of mine is gone to him, his bad is transferred to me. And this takes place for 40 days. For 40 days, my du'as, my hasanat, they will not be rewarded. So we have to be extra cautious in all of our actions, that after all this hard work of uh, uh, sweat and toil and fasting and no rest and no sleep, and then we don't get anything. Quran says to such people, قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا That shall we inform you of the biggest losers? Says, الَّذِينَ ظَلَّ سَعْيُهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ يَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُمْ يُحْسِمْنُونَ السُّنْعَى They are those whose efforts are misguided, their efforts, they are vain in life of this world while they think and they suppose that they are doing good. In reality, whatever they are doing, it's being lost. Quran recognizes these people as the losers. Now, this is something that we have to look into, and the actions that we do, they should have a divine color. Quran says, whatever I do, whatever you do, whatever mu'mineen do, it should have a sibratullah. Sibra in Arabic means paint means color. Sibratullah means a divine color, the paint or a resemblance to the Almighty God. Re resemblance to the Almighty, He is all pure, He is all good. So that reflection of goodness of His should be seen in me. 
some purity, some goodness in me. He is all mercy, he is all forgiving. So a reflection of his color be reflected in my existence in mercy and compassion. So that is Sibrat Allah. Quran says, Sibrat Allah wa man ahsanu min Allahi sibra. That is, that is the best of color. Or that is that best of baptism that a person can, can get from the Almighty Allah that to be reflected of his reflections and his beauty in my existence. Now, someone who is working for the Akhirah and he wants to be rewarded and then he wants his actions also to be thanked. Quran says, "Man arad Allah, wa man arad al akhirata wa sa'a laha sa'yaha, wa huwa mu'minun." Says there are, there are two requirements over here. That is, someone who is striving for the akhirah, and all that effort is also there. All that effort is there, but the condition and the criteria for that effort to be accepted, for that effort to be rewarded is that وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ He has to be a mu'min. فَأُولَٰئِكَ كَانَ سَعْيُهُمْ مَشْكُورًا Only then will their actions, will their endeavor, will be appreciated. Now this question is asked quite a lot, that all this goodness that is seen in the others' schools of thought, in those who are not faithful, who are not mu'minin, who are not believers, what will happen to them? All the good, here Allah clearly mentions in this ayah that whosoever is seeking the Akhirah and is striving for that Akhirah is worshipping, is fasting, is praying, performing all the do's and keeping away from every don't. فَأُولَٰئِكَ كَانَ سَعْيُهُمْ مَشْكُورَ They will be, the endeavor will be appreciated and thanked on a condition وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ When he is a mu'min. So he has to be a believer, to be rewarded, to be for his efforts to be appreciated. The other dua that we have for today is that wa I be fihi mastura and all the wrong that I have, Allah, all that wrong be hidden. Now we have a lot of wrong, we do a lot of mess, we do a lot of sins. So all of that has to be hidden. Hadith says, if every other person knew the reality and the haqiqat of my actions and they knew how bad I was and if Allah had not covered all the flaws and faults in me says no one would ever go and bury another person so because of how much they would detest and hate to be around him and then after being buried how will why will they take and bury my body says Allah has put a cover, has hidden all the wrong that I have done, that we have done, says he is Sattarul Ayyub. Sattar means someone who hides a lot. A lot. So he hides a lot. Ayyub means the flaws, the faults. He is someone who hides the faults a lot. Hadith says that we look into the little, little wrongs that others do. But all those major flaws that we have in ourselves, we never look into that. Imam says in another quote that you, in judging yourself, um, yeah, says that uh, uh, you, in judging yourself, you be uh, like, so, like God in judging yourself. But in, when you look into others, Look into others like a slave, like someone who doesn't have anything, and they also have. They are very, so in goodness you look into others, and in the evil you look into yourself. So look at the positive in others, look into the negative in yourself. In this du'a Abu Hamza also that we recite in every day, Imam says, "May yakunu aswa'u halan minni." Who will be of a much more wretched status than myself? Now this is Imam who is Ma'asum, Imam is Sajjad alayhi salam. He says, who could be worse than me? Who could be of a wretched status than me? Now when Imam talks to Allah in that way, then we also know ourselves where we stand. Definitely we are very, very low, very, very poor in all our performance, in our conduct, in our actions and what we deserve. Now this Allah, we ask him to cover us uh, the wrong that we have done. 
وَذَمْ بِي فِيهِ مَغْفُورًا And all the sins that I have done in this month, Allah, you forgive. وَعَمَلِي فِيهِ مَقْبُولًا And my actions be accepted. Now, sometimes you may have noticed that it becomes difficult for people not to wake up for, uh, difficult people to wake up to offer their Fajr prayers or the night prayers. Now, night prayers, they are important slowly after a certain age. You should start doing them and get them on board and it is a famous it says that har ki sahar nadarad as khud khabar nadarad and whoever doesn't have this night prayers and the sahar in his life he doesn't know you know what is behind the scenes all those secrets that are hidden they are he is un he is not familiar with any of it if he wants to familiarize if he wants to know what is behind the scenes and what all is hidden and I kept for you by Allah as a secret, says Salatul Layl, that the night prayers has to be offered. Amirul, to Amirul Mu'mineen Rasulullah, he in his advice says, Alayka bi Salatul Layl, bi Salatul Layl, bi Salatul Layl. Ali, upon you be the night prayers, the night prayers, the night prayers. So they are important. So at times we are unable to get up for the night prayers. Or even for Fajr, it's difficult to wake up, to get up. When inquired, Imam alayhi salatu wasalam, Imam Askari, he says that it's the weight of the wrong, of the sins that is on us, on our back, that is heavy and which is dragging us towards the ground, we are not able to get up. So we are being grounded by the weight of the wrong and the sins as a result of which we don't wake up for the Fajr prayers or for the night prayers. So if that is the case, that is an indicator that we look into ourselves, into our actions, what is wrong, where it is going wrong, why everything is being leaked, why the sins are being collected and piled up, why is our back getting heavy, why don't we get up? So all these things are things that we have to look into and correct ourselves, especially in the sacred month of Ramadan. Why be fihi mastura? Allah, we want all of the wrongs that we have, all of that be hidden. Now, tonight it is the night of the 20th, eve of the eve of the 27th of the sacred month of Ramadan. Among the actions and amal and observances that we have is a ghosl, highly recommended. And there is one of a chance that tonight may be Laylatul Qadr. So although those riwayat that we have for the, nine, uh, the eve of the 19th and the 21st and the 23rd, now that is there, and also there, are the, there is this opinion that might be tonight, tonight also may. Now the Sunni Muslims, they observe this night as the Laylatul Qadr. But in any case, uh, it's a it's a slight possibility. So for that reason, there is a ghosl also for tonight. And among the in the seerah of Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salatu wasalam, Imam throughout this night he used to repeat this sentence a lot. Allahumma rzuqnid tajafi an dar al ghurur, which means that Allah enable me to detach myself from this abode of illusion. Detach from here, from this world. Wal inabata ila dar al khulud and to turn to the abode of permanence, that is the akhira, which is eternal. Wal istiadad lil maut qabla khulul al fout and enable me to prepare myself for death before it is too late. This was the dua of Imam Sajjad on a night like tonight. Now, on the, in the du'as that we have for this evening, says, Ya madda walli walaw shi'ta laj'altahu sakina. That is, we laud and praise the Almighty in, our, in the last ten nights with all his different attributes and qualities. And tonight this attribute is being mentioned, that he is the one who spreads the shade. And if he, if, if you, the Almighty, if you willed, you could make it still. We see this shade, that shadow, that is a great blessing of Allah. He moves this shadow from one point to another. If he wanted, he could have made it stagnant and still. Ya madda walaw shi'ta sakinan. 
و جال تشم سال ہی دلیل ثم قبل تہ الئی کے قبضن یا سیرا اینڈ دین یو میڈ دا سن اٹس پائلٹ اینڈ یو وتھ ڈرو ایٹ فرام اٹ واز اے گریجول وتھ ڈرال دا سن آلسو سلولی گریجولی اٹ موبز اوے دیٹ از دیٹ بیوٹی آف آو اللہ ہیز کریٹڈ اینڈ دین وی سی یا دل جو دی و تو دی و کبریا و الا O Lord of magnanimity, and then O Lord of greatness and bounties, La ilaha illa ant, there is no Lord but you, La ilaha illa ant, Ya Quddus, Ya Salamu, Ya Mu'minu, Ya Muhaymin, again the names and attributes of the Almighty, that He is all holy, He is the source of all peace, He is the grantor of all security, He is the dominant. And then I say, Ya Azizu, Ya Jabbaru, Ya Mutakabbir, O Mighty, O Omnipotent, O Creator, O Maker, O Designer, O Fashioner, Ya Bari, O Ya Musawwir, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Laka al-Asma'ul Husna, to you belong all these good names. Wal-Amthalul Ulya, wal-Kibriya'u, wal-Ala. And the most elevated examples belong to you. Greatness is yours. Bounties, they are all yours. And now, the punch point of the dua that we have every night in these last ten nights of the sacred month. Again, we say, As'aluka an tusalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. I ask you that you send salutations upon Muhammad and ala Muhammad and that on this night you write my name among those who are successful among the suada those who are prosperous and my soul to be enlisted among the shuhada the good that i do be elevated to the highest of ranks and the wrong that i have done to be forgiven wa antahaba li yaqinan and that you bless me with a certainty with a faith with a yaqeen that is with me attached to my heart and an iman which the, which removes all the doubts and shak that are there and that you are happy with me that you are one to rudhiyani bima qasamt and that you make me content with the destiny with what you have distributed for me because what he has given sometimes it is in my favor at times it is against me so in both cases whether it is in my favor whether it is against me Allah make me happy with whatever you have destined and whatever you have designed and decreed for me And I ask you for, to give me hasana, good in this world, and hasana, good in the akhirah, and that you keep me away from the blazes of the azab and the chastisement of akhirah. And that, وَرْزُقْنِي فِيهَا ذِكْرَكَ وَشُكْرَكَ وَالرَّغْبَةَ إِلَيْكَ Now all these uh, pieces of dua that we have, it's all uh, being repeated every night. And that you, know, you bless me with your remembrance, with, your, with being gratitude and thankful to you. And then enthusiasm and my, uh, my desire towards you and repentance from the wrong that I have done and to seek your forgiveness and the opportunities. Now this is a dua that we have to have. What tawfiq lima wafaqta lah. Tawfiq, these opportunities that are granted by Allah. So, the more you do, the more opportunities will be given. The lesser we do, the lesser opportunities will be given. So, we have to avail ourselves. There is a hadith. It says that all these special favors of Allah that you see, you have to tune yourself towards those favors. In the olden days when you had these satellite dishes, you had a remote control and you had to play with that remote and move that satellite dish towards those rays and the signals that are being received so the the, the stronger the signals are there you when you rotate that dish and you get the signals you get a better picture says these tawfiqat also they are uh, all around you you have to search for them and tune yourself in line with those tawfiqat with those opportunities so that you are blessed just like catching and like hunting you have to hunt for these opportunities Wait for these opportunities, find those opportunities and get to those opp- opportunities. As they say, finders, seekers and then whatever, the rest of it. 
says, Wal inabata wa tawfiqa wa tawfiq lima. Now, that, those opportunities that I am after are all those opportunities that you gave to Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. I want all of that. And I be blessed with all of that. That is, wa faqta bihi Muhammad wa ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhim ajma'in. So it's a beautiful dua, especially these last 10 nights of duas that we are asking for whatever Rasulullah asked and Ahlul Bayt asked from Allah. Now, there was another side topic I had for tonight and that is in Quran, uh, we've got so many ayat that mention, that state that amal, the actions that we are doing, all of them, they are recorded by Allah wa ta'ala. So there is a registrar, there is a registration of everything that we do. So, the good that we do is being recorded and registered. The bad we do also is recorded and registered. So all of this is being collected somewhere. The good, we lose it because there's a leak and a drainage. And the bad also, it's been it's being piled up. And also at times due to the wrong that we have done, it is transferred from others to us. And the good of ours is also lost and gone to them. Quran says, Inna Rusulana Yaktubuna Matam Kurun, that indeed our messengers they write down what you scheme. So all these plottings that we see, schemings that we see by some people, it isn't as such that uh, they can be at ease, that they can just walk away. No, Makaru wa Makarallah, Wallahu Khairul Makirin. You scheme and you plot. There is someone else who is higher than you. And he will just uh, go against all your schemes and your plots and you will fall into those traps yourself much more severe than what he is going to prepare for you. That is how Allah, he works. Says that everything is being written. The scheming people have, all of that is being written. Now in Quran, there are numerous, uh, many ayat. I'll just mention a few here. So this ayah is Kalla Sanaktubu Ma Yaqul. That is indeed we will write down what he says and we will prolong his punishment endlessly. So Allah writes down, writes the wrong that is done. Or elsewhere says in Inna wa inna lahu katibun. We will indeed record. Katib is from Kitaba. Kitab means a book. Katib means a writer. Kitaba means to write. So here says that everything will be recorded means being written. وَنَكْتُبُ مَا قَدَّمُوا آثَارَهُمْ In Surah Yasin we say that and whatever they have sent ahead is written. That is the actions that we have done and which has been sent to the Akhirah, all of that has been written. وَكُلُّ شَيْءٍ فَعَلُوهُ فِي الزُّبُرِ Another ayah says that everything that they have done is in the books. In Surah Al-Qamar says, وَكُلُّ الصَّغِيرٍ وَكَبِيرٍ مُسْتَطِرٍ Everything big and small is committed to writing. Mustatir is from Satr. Satr means all these lines that we have. So everything over here when it says that كُلُّ شَيْءٍ مُسْتَطِرٍ means everything has been jotted down, everything has been noted line by line, has been saved and it has been filed. So over here, in all of these ayat, the wordings that were used were yaktubun, taktub, katibun, naktub, fizzubur. So it's all this kitaba that everything is being written down. And even when we are dying, the hadith says that a clip will be showed to me the day I will die, the moment I will leave, a clip will be showed. Yeah, this is the date of birth you were born, this time of your birth, and this is the time that you are departing. From the moment of my birth till the moment of my departure from this world, a short clip of our entire duration of my life in this world will be shown to me. And I've seen it, then the angel who has shown me this clip will say that, is it you? I'll say, yes, it was me. Do you agree with whatever you saw in your, did in your life that is shown to you? I would say yes. Says now sign it. Says I don't have a pen. Says your finger, your pen. Says no ink. 
There's your saliva, the ink. So dip your finger in your saliva and sign. This video is yours. This clip is yours. And it was you. So when I sign it, it will be hung into my neck. So this whatever I saw, I did, I have approved it, I have signed it, and it is all mine. So I am responsible and liable for whatever I did, good and bad. So that is how, so over here again, it's that kitaba. It will be written and it will be hung in my neck. Now Quran says, كُلُّ صَغِيرٍ وَكَبِيرٍ مُسْتَطِرٍ says that every big and small will be jotted down, will be noted down line by line and it will be saved. So in Quran, we've got these ayat. Now, first of all, it's my, per my personal file. It has been written now and it's private and confidential. Some ayat, they say that all of this that I will be doing, I have done, on the day of judgment, it will be made public. That is the day of defamation, when the wrong that I have done, it will be make, made public. Quran says in Surah At-Takweer, وَإِذَا الصُّحُفُ نُشِرَتْ That is, when the records of my deeds, they are unfolded, they are made public. وَبَرَزُوا لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا Together, they will be presented before Allah. So everything will leak, everything will be made public. Barazu lillahi jami'a. Elsewhere says, Bal bada lahum ma kanu yukhfoon. Indeed, what they used to hide here in this world, everything will be evident. They would never think that all everything that was uh, away from the sights and hidden from people is being made public now. Another ayah in Surah Al Qiyamah says, Yunabba ul insanu yawma izin bima qaddama wa akhkar. That is, man, he will be informed يومئذن, on that day بما قدم وأخر, whatever he did in the past and in the future everything will be uh, shown to him so we have five or six ayah that were mentioned here that talk about the actions will be written and the same amount of ayat were mentioned that the action report will be made public and everything will be before the entire humanity Another ayah, now the, the ayah that was, I just mentioned that the person, he has to sign his own clip that he did, it will be shown to him. It is mentioned in Quran, says, Kullu insanin, every, every human. Alzamnahu ta'iruhu, ta'iruhu illa fi onuqih. That every person, his omen, it will be in his neck. وَنُخْرِجُ لَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كِتَابًا يَلْقَاهُ مَنْشُورًا And we shall bring it out for him on the Day of Judgment as a book that he will find it public and wide open. So whatever I did and I signed and I, it was hung in my neck, so this book of mine, that's a record of mine, that was between me and myself and I signed and, and I certified it on the Day of Judgment that will be made public. Now, Now, every nation also will be summoned to this book. So we are here. We were ayat that say that everything single that my whatever was mine as my personal file. That's one, and then the, and the actions belonging to a nation. They also will be there in a separate file. And there's going to be a third file which is going to be a mix of all of this, my personal and all the public and everything and everything will be present there. So there are three ways how Allah, Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, He records everything. Inshallah, we'll continue this topic tomorrow as well. And then after these recording of our mouths and how when they are made public before mankind, how and what are these different holding areas that are there in the Akhirah. There are 50 holding areas. The Day of Judgment, the duration of that is 50,000 years. Quran says, Khamsina alf sana And every holding area, every transit area, is 1,000 years each. That is the maximum duration of time. For every holding place, 50. So what are these 50 holding areas? Inshallah, we'll shed some light on that tomorrow. سبحان ربك يا رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين 
اللہم صلی اللہ علیہ محمد و آل محمد و آجل فرجہم